Hey everybody, welcome to Vacuum Wars and to my review of the new Dyson OmniGlide cordless vacuum. It has a lightweight, omnidirectional design using soft rollers instead of a traditional head. I took a little extra time testing it this week because I wanted this review to be more than just about its specs and pickup performance. I wanted to see if it was genuinely useful and not just a new gimmick, and if so, who specifically it's designed for. In this video, I'll go over all the pros and cons and try to give you everything you'll need to know about it, so links in the description description, and let's get started. The Dyson OmniGlide is certainly something different. It uses two of Dyson's soft rollers, which spin in opposite directions to pick up debris. As I've said many times, I think soft rollers are as good as it gets for hard floor pickup. They do two things that traditional floor heads don't do very well, which is pick up large debris while maintaining a good seal on floors, as well as picking up super fine debris, basically dusting hard floors. Again, something traditional vacuums don't do well with. The articulated neck and 360 degree casters on the bottom make it incredibly maneuverable and able to do things and go places regular vacuums can't. I'll have a lot to say about this aspect of the OmniGlide later, but first let's hit some of the specs and test results. The handle design is important. As you can see, it's more in line as opposed to the traditional cordless vacuum style. It's the lightest cordless vacuum handle I've ever weighed. For reference, it's almost half the weight of the recent Dyson V15. There's a removable battery in the handle. The handle has two buttons, an on-off button and a max power button. There is a dustbin that functions much like the recent Dyson cordless vacuums, though it is quite a bit smaller than previous models. With the power test, where I tested its suction and airflow in different ways and on all of its power settings, it was interesting. For example, I found it was significantly below average in airflow and with the unsealed suction test, and it was exactly average in the sealed suction test. Basically, the raw power specs weren't anything special with the Omni Glide, but this wasn't entirely unexpected either. This is because Dyson didn't really need to give the OmniGlide that much power in order for it to do its job, since its pickup ability is more about mechanics than power. And indeed, in the pickup tests, it was nearly perfect with every type and size of debris we used. Everything from fine to extra large and even heavy debris. Basically, it was exactly what you would want from a hard floor vacuum in terms of pickup. It is only a hard floor vacuum though. I did try it on our medium carpet and it quickly stopped the brushes and was ineffective. So it's just not to be used on carpets at all. But the big question for me was the ease of use, specifically if this omnidirectional ability was really something truly useful. But first, a quick story. A few years ago, I did a video documenting my efforts to find a hard floor attachment that could do the same basic thing. That is, clean in a side-to-side -side motion as well as a back-and-forth motion. Because if a vacuum could be used in this way, it would drag drastically reduce the amount of time you would need to spend vacuuming floors, which was something I was concerned about being a full-time cabin cleaner back then. I never could find one, and I even tried to invent and 3D print various floor heads. Long story short, the Dyson OmniGlide seems to be the solution to this particular problem. Dyson advertises its ability to get around corners and to get to places that other vacuums can't, and I did find that to be an important aspect of the OmniGlide. But for me, its ability to make these back and forth sweeping motions while while doing an actual good job vacuuming the floors is the real story, and I think it will matter a lot to someone who cares about speed and efficiency. And it does all this with almost no resistance, which is incredibly important. The motion that you use is all about wrist movements, so the handle needs to be very light, which we have seen that it is, and it needs to be designed in a really ergonomic way, which I also think that it is. Basically, I think the Dyson OmniGlide is a real game changer for hard floor vacuuming. It's not a gimmick, it's a genuinely good good innovation that's well executed design wise, but there are some downsides. The first thing I'll mention is that the battery life wasn't great. I like that the battery was removable and that you could buy extras if you needed to. And I understand that it was critical for them to keep the handle weight down by using a smaller battery, but I would have liked to see a bit more than 20 minutes on standard power and about four minutes on max power. I should mention that I didn't need to use the max power mode in the pickup tests, except for the glitter test, because glitter has a way of sticking to the floors. All that to say that 20 minutes on standard power is probably what you can actually expect in real world use. Another negative is that while hair didn't get caught in the roller per se, it did get caught in the axles of the roller, and it's something I think would be easy for someone to overlook and have problems with if they didn't remove it regularly. It's not a big deal, but regular maintenance in terms of brush cleaning is a must. 
I also wasn't a big fan of the included tools or the handheld vacuuming experience in general. Mine came with a combo dusting brush slash crevice tool and a wall mount. I was kind of expecting the new LED crevice tool as seen in the promo materials, but maybe that's a UK thing or something. In any case, I think it was just a little awkward to use for most dusting applications. It was light, and in that sense I liked using it more than the V15 at double the weight. It was just the length of the handle made it awkward. The bottom line is that I think the Dyson OmniGlide is more than just a new style of vacuum. It's a genuine time saver and it's really fun to use. Its dual soft rollers pick up everything they touch and get to hard to reach places. I would like to see improvements on the battery life, axle hair tangles, and attachment set, but overall I think it's a great value for the price as long as you have exclusively hard floors in your home and as long as it currently takes you 20 minutes or less to vacuum your house. Links in the description and be sure to subscribe to Vacuum Wars before you leave. Thanks for watching.